Alright. So we're recording now on um, Miss Jules, right? Yeah. And you're the manager of the food department. Right? Cafeteria. Uh, cafeteria on campus. Awesome. And I wanted to ask you some questions about the different ways in which you use technology um, to not only run your department, but also to keep everything organized and manage your department in general. Can you uh, share some of the different things that you use it for for me? Sure. We use it for ordering. We can do ordering. Okay. Uh, from different facilities. Uh, we put in on us three to four weeks prior. That's why it's important that we do the planning. We do the planning. Uh, what the guys do, do, they send us a plan. Okay. And once they send us a plan, we put in and they generate how many kids we feed. Okay. So that's where we go by the ordering. How do you keep track of how many kids you feed? Do you do that manually or do you do that with uh, technology? Technology. The okay. kids have an ID. And okay. that's why it's important for the kids to have an ID. We scan each ID. Okay. They come in. If they don't have an ID, then we do it manually. All right. And you, so you scan them with like with this? Yes. So the little thing scans the um, scan barcode on the back? And I, it identifies the kids. And identifies and the, the kids. The kids okay. are allowed to have one lunch. If when we scan it, and if somebody used that ID, it's going to show second lunch. So, like, let's say a uh, gentleman comes up, gets gets a lunch with his five, gives his ID to someone else, and they were to come up, it would show second lunch. Already got lunch. Okay. So, what about a kid who doesn't have his ID? How do you do when that? When kids don't have ID, we call a uh, problem lock. Okay. And so that you can keep track of it. Um, okay. Um, how about as far as managing your staff? What are the some ways that you use technology to manage your staff? The staff, you have to train them basically on temperature. Temperature is very important. Okay. The staff, you have to maintain them. When the grocery come in, they have to take the temp. You know, of, temp the, of the food they're getting? Of the, the food. If it's okay. frozen, it has to be 50 or below. Okay. How do they do that? Just a thermometer? Tomorrow. Everyone is issued a thermometer. Okay. And is that linked to the computers or do they manually would have to enter the temperatures? We have something called a red book. So you have to record it every day. So quality control come or QC come, they have to check that. Like okay. if they will come today, they will do today and go prior to yesterday but we will. Okay. Um is this, let's talk about now. Um, Keeping track of hours that people work. How do you do? Is that done through technology or manually or? They function? clock in and out. They Every clock. employee have an ID number. Okay. You come in, you put your ID number. That employee is in charge of his number, and they have a password. Okay. So even though I know the number, right. I couldn't clock that employee in because that employee has his own password. Okay. okay. Can you think of any way that your job would be made easier through technology? Anything you can think of that we can think for, of? For the kids, what I would like is like when the kids get that ID, if they pitch them, that okay. would help a lot. That would stop death or right. someone using someone else's ID. And fraud, right? Right, because they cause a problem. Because you have many problems, kids, uh, parents that are called, and their kids will never come to the cafeteria. Right. But yet, still, they have a bad They have money to pay. So, like, if I find an ID on the ground, is that my kid and, comes and you the just scan in it, so long as it's say good, we're uh, good to go. Right. Because it's not identifying the picture. Now, do you match, like, uh, this is a seventh grader, you, uh, do they match, like, hey, he's got a red shirt on, it matches? Exactly. Okay. That we can do. That's the only thing that'll show the grade when you scan someone ID, it'll right. show the grade. So, for instance, if you come in and you got a blue shirt, but it's showing sixth grade, so I know it's not, yeah, that's sitting a red flag right there. Now, what if the kid's like, oh no, this is my sixth grade ID? Then you cannot choose it. We'll tell them right now. You cannot. You cannot, you cannot use your sixth grade ID to get no. it. You that it use your current ID. Exactly. To get your ID. Exactly. Or well, they'll say, that's my friend and I'm getting money for my friend. And you don't know who you are. If that child has, because you do have children sometimes that's on crutches. Okay. So, me, 
on my staff to go see if that child is unconscious and again, he's getting the extra weight for that child. Okay. That's the only way. That's, that's the only way that that would happen. Right. Can you think of anything else that uh, technology can make your job easier? Any other ways? Um, Any no. of the ordering or the temp food? Uh, no, the ordering is pretty, it's pretty much easy. Okay. So, like I said, if I go in there in my plan and they tell me we're doing burgers today, and I plan for 300, I plan for 500. Now, if I put 500 in, they'll tell me how many pages I need to order. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it tells you right away. It tells you right away. Okay. So you can. I can plan. Normally, when I do my lunch, I plan for 500. Okay. But I know I feel like maybe 450. You know.